Radio, so that's me down for round three of the Gap Dates League. Yeah, I'm actually down. Uh, I'm down early because I'm doing a wee morning uplift, uh, and it's just for fun, just just for fun, and because I can. Simple as that. Bike's all ready, uh, and we've got Andy and Jack down as well, uh, and then bikes are on the Mondrakers. That's Jack's new machine there. Bike. Oh, it's Jack's first first race of this season, isn't it? So yeah, uh, gonna be fun. I'm not gonna do really much video enough just the day out practicing. Apple juice in. Radio, that's me down then for the the last round of the Gap League. Uh, I'm currently sitting second in the championship. It's very close between second and third. It, it's very close all over for a first, second, or third. If we can get a clean, fast run, I should do well and finish on a podium. But I don't even want to say that now in case I jinx myself. So should you have round here before? What I'm going to do now is just walk up. The first part of the track is the same, uh, and then we're into a different part. So we're going to take a good look at the different part now and see. Right, so this is going to be the start of the, the new section of the trail for the race. Come out of the normal section, uh, the look is it. The rest of the track from their own back has been the same. Now, if I spin around, I don't know if you can see it. There's no empty sign there, and a big log. Well, the race before went down that way. I mean, I just sort of go straight through that no empty sign. And the trail is known as a uh, trail hugger. Right. To me, this trail doesn't seem bad. Just maybe a couple of bits at the start here. We may have a couple of line choices. Deep holes and roots. We sort of go down here, give you a look up at it. And I see a potential line. Uh, I see a potential line. I don't, I don't know. Just need to see what happens in the day. There's people watching. I want to look at it too. What's up now? A lot of holes and roots in this bit. Let's see. Especially here.
Right folks here again, I'm very sorry about the audio, uh, don't know what's happening with the GoPro. Let's take a wee quick look at the ground here, uh, just you can see this is where I've just been, you see me riding through there in the bike. That's the sort of ground we have, roots, off camber, rocks. Now if this would have stayed wet, this would have been pretty damn slippy. Down into the corner here, uh, and you'll see this corner. It's a fur drop there, you can't really see it, it's a good like four foot there like. Uh, the berms themselves, the berms pretty grippy, pretty steep so it's not so bad to get round. And they have plenty of grip on those. This, this part of the track is just going to become extremely fast. Uh, this is going to become fast even if it's really wet. Jump. Could also roll that. And then we're into these berms. Big switchbacky berms. They're going to be super fast. But yeah, well, that's only really the start of that. That I would be. I'm not worried about. But that's that's the only one I can think of. You know, that's near up there, but almost my shoulder good enough lamp here we're this like big switch backy stuff now if i had been riding the trail i was normally riding which i wasn't riding because i was dicking about and i was doing easy stuff and i shouldn't have been I'm not making excuses i'm just gonna have to go as hard as I possibly can see how we get on and really it's a series of them right down here there's a there's one drop coming into a corner again just need to be careful of but there's a yellow marker on it so it, you'll know it's coming just remember for the yellow marker big berms really big berms so secret is stay up high you can see where everybody's been staying up high uh, plenty of grip you can come in that so hard again the ground here in this section of it is, is all really good I suppose a few hundred riders coming down it will change a little bit. Now, depending on how you come out of there, it could be, you could maybe go up here. I don't know if it would be faster and pop in that corner. Let's look at it. Don't know. Yeah, but see, so you need to be careful here with your speed <laughs> and going into that because it's a right drop. And again, really, it's just a series of these right out, and it finishes off down in the section that we we're in before. Uh, you know, the last section of the last meeting where. The last section where I come across the, the fire road where it's really really twisty and fast that's where it finishes so, so that's what it is just not one of those and another one of them down there so these could catch you out uh, I would say they could catch you out because it's just a to me it's that jump down into the corner We'll see what we can do. Again, just got another one of those drops. That drop isn't so bad because it's you can get a nice move around it, so it's not so bad. Hide it out there. This one's not so bad because you're actually jumping way down into the corner. <laughs> A bike could cause problems for people, so I guess stay up nice and high in this one. I suppose it's kind of the natural line choice, to be honest. I 
So everything's going to be well grippy here. I'm actually happy with it. Yeah. All good. Big berms, lots of speed there. Hard breaking here. And then this is coming out onto the other trail. Do you remember this is the trail we came out of last time across the road? So jump and then down into this one. And then it was just that we remember the wee sharp wiggly fast section. Yeah, and that's that's that part of the track. The rest all the same, so I don't know if that gives you a look at it or whatever, but that's the best I can do for you. I'm going back to the van to get washed and chains. Right folks, let's get down the track here for a little practice run. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any clean runs in my practice to get sort of like one nice sort of race run to get into that field. But hey ho, everybody's out doing the same thing. It's just, it's just that game, it's the nature of the beast, I guess. I thought I was going for a good runway and then I heard your dad shout now Is I think he shouted a canyon for or something like that See when hey. one of the roots hang your craft hey. back Oh it better be worth it. <laughs> so folks, this is it. The race run. Here we go.
<sighs> One happy boy, first place in that race and first place overall in the uh, Gap Dates League. Here's a wee video we caught of Zach at the end while we were waiting about in his race run. Go on, Zach! Yes. 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 Yes.